In today's video, I just wanted to take a moment and break down uh, kind of a summary. Uh, I did a video, it was a little bit longer, where I went in depth on how Dat Boy was able to basically defend the gun bunch, especially defend Bol the way that Blocky was running the gun bunch. So I wanted to jump into practice mode and I wanted to break this down, do a little bit of a shorter video and talk a little bit about his pass defense and what we can take away from it. There's two big keys um, that I want you to take away from this and, and maybe even three as you're, as it goes to uh, defending trips formations. Now, if you've never met me before, um, my name is Cody and basically what my channel does here is we give Madden 21 tips and tricks. We break down videos that are designed to help you get better at Madden. And if you're interested in getting better, if you're interested in learning from myself and from other people that I study, I'd highly encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so I wanted to do this video just to mainly talk a little bit about this gun bunch. Now, I just released a ebook, uh, not really an ebook. It's more of like a mini guide uh, for the gun bunch. And if you want to pick that up, all you got to do is text me. Uh, it's basically for my text message members. So literally, all you got to do is pull out your phone right now. Send your uh, just send me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. We release tips and tricks every single week. Um, and typically they're longer in form. They're about an hour long or so, and we really dive deep on a formation or something like that. Uh, basically, you know, into the meta basically of the game. So, um, anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the audible. So we got flood. We're gonna go over flood. We're gonna go over mesh posts, verticals, half back under, and we're gonna go over PA dig fork because those were the primary plays that Blocky used in this game. And I want to talk about really how um, how Dat Boy was able to really defend this at a high level. So. We've got Godwin here, we've got Evans here, Brown here, Gronk here, and his base play, obviously, if you're running Carolina Bunch, your base play is going to be double post almost every time. So Dat Boy was actually, interestingly enough, he was having, he had auto flip on, I'm pretty sure, and then he had base align, set his defense to baseline, he has ball in air to play ball, I'm pretty sure, option defense conservative, tackling was on aggressive, and then his zone drops, I'm pretty sure they were just default. Uh, with the exception of the curl flats. I'm pretty sure those were either 20 or 25 yards. And his base set was the nickel 325. Now, if you're running, if you're looking to imitate this or run some of this or learn some of this, I would highly recommend the Green Bay Packers for this if you're playing regs. Um, basically, the reason that I personally run the 335 the most, um, and I actually have a defensive ebook out on this, uh, not just on this specific defense from Dat Boy, but I had, I had covered the 46 playbook uh, months ago. Uh, if you want that full scheme and full ebook, that link is in the description below. It also comes with my Arizona Cardinals offensive uh, ebook as well. But what I, the reason I like this formation, if we just take out of the fact that you know the nickel three five has really really good coverage and you can do cross mans and different things like that, the main reason that I was running this formation and actually the main reason that I think a lot of people run this is because of the animations that safeties get compared to the animations that linebackers get. Because you can put safeties at every major position, you see here I can put um, Adrian Amos here, Darnell Savage here, Will Redman here. So i got three safeties. So basically what I've got is I've got three safeties, I've got four or I've got five corners, and I've got one lineman and two linebackers. So really I'm running a one, two, eight, right? Kind of almost like a quarter defense, right? But um, the beauty of this is I can still audible down in the nickel 335 wide, um, which is a very, very decent run defense, or nickel normal, which is a pretty decent pressure defense. So, what I like to do in this is I'll set the nickel blitz two as one of my audibles, I'll set the buck slant uh, two as one of my audibles, and then I'll typically set the cover four palms um, as one of my audibles. And then for nickel 335 wide, uh, I personally like to just either run Mike Blitz or three Sam Will Blitz. Uh, those are the two primary plays that I'm gonna run. And then for nickel three, three, five, here's my audibles really quickly, just so you can see. I'm gonna have the cover four drop. I'm gonna have the three double, uh, or the cover three cloud, I'm sorry, and the cover three sky. Uh, it's gonna typically be how I'm gonna play this. And I'm gonna come out in Tampa two every single play. This is um, this is kind of a little bit of what Dat Boy was doing. I wanna break this down. But there's one specific adjustment that he was doing that makes this really, really good and uh, makes this probably, in my opinion, the best defense right now in Madden 21. And we'll talk a little bit more about the run defense um, maybe in next week's text me message membership video. Uh, I'm going to be putting that together. Um, but if you want to get the run defense prior to that, go ahead and just pick up the defensive guide. That link is in the description below. Anyways, uh, so what was happening was Blocky, in any good bunch player, at least 
most most bunch players are going to run this to the wide side of the field. So if, if you know, just to imitate this, we're going to put the ball on the left hash. And we're going to run through a couple of plays. The first play that, um, and I'm just going to give you the setups, and I just want to talk through what is going on. So basically what he's going to do is he's going to man, he's going to rebase a line, and then he's going to press coverage. As you can see right here, it's going to create more of a natural look. From that point, basically what we're going to do is we're going to crash our line down, and we're essentially going to try to get some kind of disengage going on down here. We're just going to try to get these guys one-on-one. -on -one. We're trying to get our studs, our stud pass rushers match up one-on-one. -on -one. We're typically going to be using on the middle linebacker for this scheme. And then we're going to basically cross man the heck out of things. So with double post, this is Blocky's base setup. He would just drag the right screen slot receiver and he would flat the tight end. This basically created um, a little, little makeshift mesh concept uh, underneath. And then he has these two routes over the top. So what Dap Boy was doing and pretty much without fail, he would be Maybelline to one of the, the bunch sides. So he would basically take Amos right here and he'd put him into a curl flat zone. And then he would take his backside linebacker, which I thought was genius, in the 3-3-5. And he would man him up onto the right of screen slot for the double post. So that was going to basically deter um, Blocky from throwing the double post route. From there, and this was the adjustment that I thought was really, really important for when you're defending gun bunch. He took his slot corner, uh, which would be um, Kadir Holman here, and he bluff blitzed him. Now, whenever you bluff blitz a slot corner, especially if you blitz, bluff blitz them from Tampa 2, um, it's going to put him in a three rec. And so from there, he's going to pass commit. And basically, all he's got to do is essentially kind of deter some of the quick things that could happen. For example, he has to deter the quick streak. And then he has to kind of come back in here and clean up this underneath mesh. That's pretty much it. So the snap of the ball, that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to come up, and then he's going to come down, and he's going to deter everything. Now, let's let's jump into instant replay and just kind of show you why this setup does so good against what the bunch is trying to do. Most people in the bunch, if you actually think about the way the gun bunch works, most of the routes from gun bunch, at least from the bunch side, is coming from this guy right here. This guy is either going to be on a corner route, he's going to be on a post route, he's going to be on a crossing route, he's going to be on a skinny uh, post, he's going to be on a Z, uh, S route. Most of the time, the routes are coming from the slot receiver, okay? So, or I'm not sorry, not the slot receiver, the outside receiver, especially from Carolina's specific playbook. So at the snap of the ball, take a look at what's going on. Now, these cloud flats from cover two, even though they don't, even though they're not hard flats, and yes, Blocky could have completed this route to the tight end pretty much all game. Um, you'll see Dat Boy is going to play a little chess, and we'll we'll cover that in the next setup we're going to show you. But the reason he could hit this, but you see how these cloud flats are going to make that you know kind of a tender throw, especially because there's no corner route in behind it to basically pull that zone back. So there's really no reason to throw that. Same thing over here on the C route. There's no reason, you know, there's nothing really there. Um, because he wants this underneath mesh right here. Now, my three rec kind of falls down here, unfortunately, but typically this three rec would do a pretty good job of hanging with that drag route or these crossing routes. And essentially, that boy would only, and then this man assignment is what is just genius. Um, and as you can see here out of the Tampa 2, uh, because there's no vertical, there's no vertical threat on this left side, really no reason to have a vertical hook over there. So we're just going to man him up. And what you're going to see is the Mabel will protect it long enough. So if he were to just snap through a streak, like it would be there. By the time that clears, this man assignment has come over and completely boxed this. So now all that boy has to do, and obviously the cloud flat is going to hang pretty well over here. Now at this point right here, this thing is opened up. So he would have something like this potentially, but obviously he fell down. And then that boy is basically covering the running back. And that's truly... Um, you know, one of the major setups that he was able to go to. So then Blocky's next move was to go to flood, right? Was, go to, was to go to flood. Well, really quickly, let me show you what this coverage will do against flood. So we're going to set the same coverage up, and I just want to show you kind of what, you know, what he's, you know, what everyone was seeing. So we've set the same coverage up. Now, effectively, we're just going to use her to the left side of the field. And at the snap of the ball, he's going to come up. Oh, no, he's in flood. And so now, basically, his user has to pick between 
the flat route and or no, I'm sorry, not the flat route, but the the route to the running back and the route to the left of screen wide receiver. So what you're going to see at the snap of the ball here, we back this up. So you see here, this is flood. Now we've got pretty good defense, as you can see. This guy's hanging here, like the streak's kind of taken away. The Mabel, the purple zone is taken away this out route pretty well. Now this three wreck, as you see here. Now if you know anything about gun bunch. All I know is I can if I stay with the running back for like a split second, like if I just kind of hang here, he's not gonna he's gonna want to throw it right here. Where where Blocky would want to throw this in route is either right at that cut, but you see how the corner kind of follows him a little bit. So really, where the window to throw that in route is is kind of back right in here, and by that time you've got the three rep coming down onto this route. So that's really you know the flood play is a good play. Uh, and a good play call for this but it doesn't really torch it but i do want to show you the defense that you can go to if someone is running a lot of flood on you and it's basically this cover three sky uh cover three sky drop all we're going to do on the outside is we're going to deep half both of our corners and then what we're going to do is we're going to play a mabel coverage so we're going to hard flat both of our linebackers and then we're going to take one of our defensive linemen and drop him into a vertical hook. And what you're going to see, you're still rushing two, right? You're still rushing two, which as we know from nickel 335, when, when you rush true, and I actually like to drop the uh, nose tackle back off. I like to leave the edge pressure. But uh, when you drop two, uh, as long as you're blitzing two, you're going to get a decent rush. So you'll see here, and if I didn't fall down, I would be able to get back on that. But we basically take everything away in that category as well. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. And essentially the, the weak spots of this coverage, we can make up for with our user. So what you'll see here, snap of the ball, we've got the uh, flat route with that hard flat. We've got the out route. Um, you see here, he kind of has the out route. Like if he low balled that, and Blocky had this most of the game. If he would low ball past that, that's kind of open. But again, if, you know, if I know that's coming, I, again, that's kind of my job as the user. I got to start in here and kind of deter that and then come back down over here but you'll see this um this this drop from my nose tackle he'll kind of hang in the general area of the running back and then that left side guy as well so that was kind of the chess match that really went back and forth and one of the plays that blocky went to that i wish he would have ran more and i want to talk about this so this is gun bunch verticals uh, we're going to throw the Mabel coverage there, and I want to just show you a little bit about this play. And we're just going to throw the, our guy into a, um, let's see if I can do a hook crawl on the left. Yep, throw him into a hook crawl on the left. And if you take a look at this verticals halfback under play, if I motion my wide receiver out, you'll see on this play right here, um, this was the play that Blocky uh, tried to go to a couple of times, and a couple of times had some success. But here's the thing that people miss about the um, here's the thing that people misunderstand about the nickel 335 defense and let me show you we're going to go an instant replay here and i'm going to show you this route and show you what's going on so you know again if you're if you're facing this if someone's running cover two when you're in verticals or when you're in bunch you typically will run the verticals play as you can see that same cross and i'm running the same exact setup that i ran against double post by the way so you see here that Okay, on the left side, we've pretty much got him. Like, we're, we can hang with that left side, especially if they run bunch, their bunch side to the wide side of the field. Now, over here, you take a look at the window. Because this guy is in a cloud flat, and cloud flats, in my opinion, are the best uh, zones in the game, you see that he's going to basically kind of play with him a little bit. By the time this safe or this corner is leaving, if I were to throw this, there's like, see here, I'm starting to throw it. There's no window. See how the linebacker is closing the window with all the speed that you can have at this position? And if you take a look, the deep half is coming over the top. This window right here is like threading the needle. I mean, very much so threading the needle. Now, if I was usering this play, uh, which this would be, uh, this would be, let me see, let me find my user. This would be my user right here. And you see, you know, really what my job would be, you see how the three rec is going to basically, he should take the back. So you see how the back, there's nowhere for the back to go. So really, the only thing that my user has to do is basically cover the crossing route right in here, and then I can jump back to the tight end. And that's what happened. Um, this cover two defense pretty much boxed 
um, everything. And I actually would have liked to see uh, Dat Boy call it a little bit more. I think he was trying to make sure that it was disguised a little bit and not trying to call, you know, not trying to be uh, too crazy with it. But this defense straight up, I mean, it bagged a lot of what Blocky liked to do. And to be quite honest with you, it bagged a lot of what everybody from Gun Bunch likes to do. Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to show this and I'm just going to drop my guy into a mid read just for the sake of the video, because I want to show you this throw. Um, I want to show you this throw to Antonio Brown. If I want to make this throw, okay, I'm going to try to make it right here. So you see, drop back right there and you see it's a pick. There's not, even though the window should be there, it's really not, especially when you man him up. So he can't throw that. He can't throw the double post route. He, he can't throw the mesh post. All right, that was another one of Blocky's plays. Let me go to that same setup. So we're going to uh, basically flip with the bunch. And then we're going to Mabel the bunch side. We're going to throw a three wreck into the field. And then we're going to use her with this guy right here. Now, uh, this is mesh post. Now, again, just to, show, just to show the routes and just to show you everything going on, we're just going to throw this guy into a hook curl. But let's just run mesh post. This is the mesh post that everybody loves this year. And you're going to see, yes, I can beat man-to-man. -man. Yes, I can beat man-to-man. -man. But to be honest with you, it doesn't look like I can beat man-to-man. -man. And again, it's that illusion um, and playing a little bit with the mind. Now, again, you know, and I'm fully, you know, as a, as a user, I can fully come underneath and make plays. Um, that's, a, that's another thing that, you know, you, you don't always get that in a practice mode type of tip. But let me just show you this one more time. And again, we're going to drop this guy. And you'll just see it's just going to deter it. Um, even the motion out of this. Most people like to motion this out. Uh, but what you'll see, he's going to come underneath it. And, yes, he is going to beat that man coverage, that cross man. But with that, when that's Mutt and that's Micah Hyde or, um, or Adrian Amos, that, that could be a pick. Um, that, that could be a pick. Uh, and then I wanted to show you PA Dig Fork. This is, another, this is a play that Blocky didn't really go to, but a play that I kind of thought he should have. Um, but let me just show you, uh, and again, this isn't, this is by no means the, the main setup from this, but just to be, you know, just to, just to kind of give you a glimpse of, you know, what you might, you know, what you might get. So we're going to go with that same cover two defense. And I just want to show you, and this is why this defense is so good. The circle receiver, actually, most people think the slot receiver in most years, that would be correct. The slot receiver is the key receiver in the bunch. This year, not so much, and um, and we'll just show you uh, we'll just show you that right here in just a second. Let me get the zone set up. So PA dig fork again. Here's the route combination. Most people are going to like to try to hit the Antonio Brown over the top here or hit the streak. So you see how that three rack is going to follow that streak all the way up in the seams to the point that that's a tight throw. I mean that's a tight throw. And if that's you know again that that's Ed Reed or if that's Devin McCourty, that's probably an interception. Um, so you have that option, uh, or you have that defense as well. And if you mix, this is why I absolutely love the nickel three three five because you can do so many things with your zones. You can do so many things with your coverages. That's what's unique about it. It's not necessarily the fact that it's got great run D or great block shed D or great whatever. It's the fact that literally um, you can basically create any coverage that you want with this formation, and that's what makes it so special. And that's why, in my opinion, Dat Boy was able to really, really use this very, very well as a lockdown defense. So there's a little guide to the nickel 335 uh, normal. And if you want more tips and strategies, more high-level stuff, just text me. Um, if you want to dive a little bit deeper into the nickel 335 and some of the key things that you can do from the formation and also learn the run defenses, the user rushes, the, the A-gap blitzes and all that stuff, then I would highly recommend – uh, picking up the defensive ebook uh, that link is in the description of this video okay other than that guys be sure to join the discord so we can talk madden 24 7 other than that we'll see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time we stream madden every single night and we'll be playing madden tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern right here on our youtube channel so make sure you're subscribed so you can get that uh, access to that video as well we'll see you there